so this is pretty place. normal. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're uh, in the Palazzo. We are coming to Expo for lunch. This is going to be great. I've been looking forward to this. E5 wagon. I have never been in this building or at Expo, obviously. This place is hot too. Love up. Have you eaten there? Yeah. yeah. And uh, That's where compa Jennifer got comparable. Uh, very upscale Italian. That's what Jennifer ordered a $125 steak and forgot it had stock slot machine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice front atrium desk. like. They all do nice stuff at their front desks. All the different resorts. They all have something to show, you know. Not quite what uh, Bellagio's does, but you know, it's still very nice. You know, it's just the scale of things are so huge in all of these resorts. I mean, you know, you walk into a place and this is very high end like shopping, 50 foot ceilings. I mean, that's not, oh. and very, very high end uh, shopping. But look at this, I love that. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. So, this is all new for me. What is that? All shops going up? Yeah, more shops. More. Yeah. The restaurant's up there, but we've got some time, like, yeah. So we're going to walk around, guys. You're with us, okay? Like, I'm trying to figure out what this Electra thing is here in the corner. <laughs> is that the name of the restaurant? Probably. Probably. It's a very... So what does that look like to you? Diamond rings? I mean, what is that supposed to... Electric coils. Electric coils. Oh, Tesla. Let's think Tesla, right? All right. Nice, uh, very spread out in here. The casino's not tightly packed. Or... I'm looking up there. It's very, it's not cramped. It's very open. It's nice. usual games are Dragon Links, there's that Cash NATO. We got some new ones over here. A different Wizard of Oz with the parade. Nice big bar in the middle of it all. There you go. Uh oh, they have it here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's one uh, we didn't play. It's not where we're at over in Paris, we haven't but seen we've it. played that like in Mohegan and and uh, Silverton and, uh, and in, uh, Tahoe New Orleans. maybe New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans, yeah. We uh, we did really well on that one. Yeah. 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 Frost with. But yeah, we go. the Hong Kong Cafe. I'll assume that's Chinese. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good assumption. All right. Oh, what's this? Is it love? Is that what a love? No, this is just the love sign. Love says mirage. Oh, it's this a... is how you get to the Grand Canal shop. Okay. Well, I want to go check out that waterfall, and you guys get to come with us. And they really brought the ceiling up in here. Now the gondolas—they actually have them over in Venetia. But this is a. Yeah. Canal shops, oh yeah, all different tiers. You're gonna go up levels, just like you would at Caesars. Oh look, I see the, they did the ceiling again effect, the cloud effect in the background behind this love. This is pretty neat. It's an interesting pattern. someone there right yeah. I think we may be joining them we may get a picture of us sitting over there we won't actually join them we'll take our turn I guess but so, oh yeah you can no biggie all right guys we're gonna pause it for a sec and uh, take a picture 
All right, so here we are. We are at Xpot. We're a little early, not quite ready for but us yet, but they are open and they really wanted us to come in and drink. And we'll be doing some drinking when we go in. But I wanted to see more of this because I really haven't been here, so. Um, the Expo is at the Palazzo, which is connected to the Venetian on the um, other side of the strip from where we're staying, uh, not far from the wind. Yeah. And we're going to do a little more looking around and I, maybe I'll take you along with us. But this is, uh, we're looking but forward to lunch here. This, I've really, pot, pot she's been here and I knew about it, haven't been, but I, when I saw the golden cow, I knew I had of, to come. Of A3 Wagyu. Definitely. Yeah, we're going to get some Wagyu here. That's going to be awesome. So we will uh, walk around inside. and then in a few minutes we'll join you inside or you'll join us and go from there. At the X spot. All right. Follow us. See us soon. And we are coming in. And I will come around that side. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Expot, and there are private rooms in here, which we are just in the main dining area, which is quite okay. We each have our own little pot here on the table, right? And these are on those on his. Would that be more pots, or yes, it would, right? So, so it's a fixed price menu. Yeah, we're going to be getting the fixed price menu. Let me, I'll get pictures so of that and show you. Oh, she loves that. And for you, sir, for the spicy pot, I have the sesame paste with peanut butter and garlic. And on that side, it's going to be sesame oil with oyster yeah. sauce, garlic, and cilantro. And Beautiful. We'll cool down a little bit of the spice in this one. Okay. Oh, that's we don't have you. to cool it down. Perfect. <laughs> he says that. He hasn't tasted it yet. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I grow reapers. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> so, although you I do love... Them. You ate one of them. I you ate one, and it was pretty rough. Like hour, yeah. But I did eat the Belduck Triple X hot ramen and i'll tell you i got through it i did a whole video oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so i can I'm handle some sweating. heat oh oh i was sweating i was all red <laughs> it was funny but i got through it <laughs> so was it good though did it taste good? oh i love it i've okay. actually eaten i'm almost done with my six pack <laughs> <laughs> so i've gone back to it i do like it where there's one a little that actually has a little bit of creaminess to it it's oh, very it's nice pretty impressive. but yeah i like the good. really hot stuff awesome. so so i should be okay uh, did you get a chance to sign on a drink yeah, I thought I had mentioned it. Was, was the one you wanted? Oh, oh let me that make was the sure. One with the lemongrass. No, actually, it wasn't that one. Oh, the hot oh, yeah. That, that one. Husband. Yes. God, I'll put that in right now. <laughs> First course. Yes. So this has a vinaigrette. It has some wagyu beef. Yep. And and boy, I have to work with chopsticks. Yes. There's no choice here? I mean, I have... Oh, uh, oh wait, where's the... I see this. Nice little mandarin. Yeah, I want a piece of mandarin, too. Mm. Thank you. Mm, it's good. Mm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. And she's making me use the chopsticks. I'm not even allowed to ask. <laughs> I'm gonna ask later. <laughs> I need the practice, admittedly. <laughs> yeah, I can move this over. Getting it ready, huh? You know what? I'll even. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's smoking. Oh, this is gonna be great. Look at it. She's smoking. I love it. Thank you. Video? Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I like can't it. see it on your thing, though. That's all right. Um, wow. I don't even know what to do with it. If I should wait it and let it smoke away, or if I should just give it a shot. What do you I think? Take, I would pour it out into the. You pour a little in there. All right. Let's see what happens. Mm, this salad, very good. Oh, there it goes. 
Um, I do not remember having a nice smoking pot of anything as a drink that I ordered anywhere. So, cheers to me, cheers to you. Mm -hmm. How's you? You've got your martini and I've got my smoky drink. Is it hot? Is it a hot drink? It's very nice. It's a whiskey. My goodness, I've never seen a whiskey ever. No, but it's got enough sweet elements in there. I didn't even know you liked that. I uh, learned something new about your husband every day. That's very nice. So we're gonna bring oh, you back around. My martini is perfect. And the salad is very, very light. And the salad is very light. You know what? This really drink like is technically a strong drink, but the flavor is so smoothing. And I think their whiskey smoke they use, the smoke, he added something, probably dry ice, I don't oh, know. <laughs> so all I know is she's still smoking and that was but good. it's cold, when you drink it, it's, it's Yeah, it's not okay. hot, it's cold. How cold is that? I don't know, but I'm really trying to get some lettuce. There's, um... There's a... I said there was beef in there. I don't see no. any beef. It must be the size of my... Like crumbles. Do you see any beef in here? No. But he did say beef. Oops. Maybe he means before the beef. I don't know. I uh, know it's really darn it's good. It, Very nice. It it's a like Italian... Fancy. It's got just like a nice little... There's a ginger undertone to it though. Yeah. Ah, she's beautiful. Well, we're gonna work on our salad for a minute. There's something crunchy in the bottom too. There was a little crunchy, some dark and crunchy mm -hmm. crispies in there. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I don't know enough to know what's in it. But it's a much nicer alternative to croutons. Uh, on the bottom, I see, oh, I see a little bit of uh, the leaves. This That's is good. beet leaf. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I'm really impressed with the flavor of the... Of the with the little red stem? Greens, it's a beet leaf. There's some nice red lettuce in there. Nice vinaigrette, it's not, but it's got a different tone to it. It doesn't have a lot of vinegar in it. That's why it's a, it's a vinaigrette with not a lot of vinegar. It's more oil-based, I think. More yeah. like a light oil. It's very nice. We'll be back. That is... This is the chili pork, yep. which you're supposed to dip in the ground chilies. I'm gonna... No, no, use your chopsticks. I'm going to go barbarian on this. Okay. He is going barbarian, yeah. folks, he is. How's that? Beautiful. Okay, yeah, you wanna and, see? And show me you what, guys? let me get a close-up nice. of this salad with Hold beef on. and, I guess, caviar? Ooh, warm. Crispy. Yes, okay. He is going barbarian, yeah. folks. He is. How's that? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, you want to see? Show me you what, guys? Let me get a close up nice. of this salad with Hold beef on. and, I guess, caviar? Cool. Warm. Crispy. Strip. Oh, and the chili. Is it really perfect? Adds. It's not overly hot. The chili adds a nice. It looks like you just add the chili kind of plain, like in powder form, right? But we're sharing everything so we can double dip. I think when you bite it, it's easier to get a nice little bit of chili on there. Let's check out. Let's check on. Ooh, the chili's good. And, and I want you guys perfect. to see, hopefully, a nice view. That's got caviar in there. And some tuna. And a sauce, which I'm about to try. A little sweet. Very clean tuna. Very, very nice, fresh, fresh tuna. All right. I'm going to go back into that in a sec. I've never been a big caviar person. I've always found it too salty. Me too. But. How do you do? Better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm going to try a piece well, with a sauce, though. Where are you going? One of your sauces? A 
I'm gonna try it with this peanut sauce and a little soy. Mmm. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if I can get this and show you guys. I'm working really hard to show you this, okay? But I am not Mr. Chopsticks. Mm, not chili powder, excellent. Oh, very nice, okay. So it brought up that salt level, but with the sweet, but there's not so much there that it overpowered it. It balanced out pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I still don't know what this sauce that's with it is. This very orange sauce. And I'm gonna try it. Super creamy, really smooth. Kind of balancing, that brings the sweetness more towards a neutral. It doesn't add any spice. Okay. But you know me and my love of spice. So what I'm gonna do, contaminate my chopsticks and grab this last piece with a little bit of the chili powder. Oh, that was probably the best bite. That chili powder. And that chili powder gave it that little backside. I like it better than that Korean chili powder. Oh, I it. like the red Korean chili flake. The red Korean flake that, is not as spicy. This is more spicy. This is more spicy. That has more flavor. And this has been a great little start to our meal. And just enough. Oh yeah, no, no, just enough little amounts of things. Enough to really, it, it's a tasting essentially. And it is a lunch. You get to taste a little of everything. Menu. All right, so wait, let me put some wet something. What do you the think? Is great. That's what I was thinking. With the chili sauce. Because now I can pick up some nice amount of this chili oil. That so we can use it with our Oh, we'll just keep it. Yeah. That works. I think so too. Mm hmm. But it really made the chili powder grab. It held on. And I'm almost wondering if I go with that with the peanut. I tried the peanut and it was good. Ponzu you liked it with the ponzu more. And ponzu with that together. And I don't know about this one. I this was my mellowing broth. in that's the broth. That's the broth, so that's when we take the broth and dip it. But no. You cook your meat in the broth and But I'm thinking a mellowing with the chili powder might be a good, like, bring up the heat, add some more flavor. This tastes amazing. We well, brought yeah. it so it would tone down some of the spice from your signature spicy broth. All right, I'm trying to warm up these chopsticks again. It's one. easy to pick up. Oh, it's one yeah. big piece. No, oh, that's too much of a piece. We're going to have to figure well, I'm out. I'm not having any more, so. Let me break this piece it. up. Folks. All right, so I dunked this in the cooling, and then I dunked it in there. Look how much chili it's holding on to. But it's got the cooling liquid, so I should be just fine. That's coarse brown chili powder. No, no, I'm doing it. That's <laughs> Not, not an amazing combo. I know it is. The sweet and the hot together is awesome. Kind of like when you add hoisin into your spicy, and the hoisin is a nice sweet balance. That's what that just did. So, that was good. Well, I guess we're off until that next course arrives. But, oh, everything's been perfect. Right? This is our tomato. Awesome. It looks very tomato-ish. Very nice. <laughs> it's a nice light. Oh yeah, put that here. Oh god. I make it at home. I love it. Mickey Chen inspired me to make it. I really did. Oh yeah. Wow, look at the chili floating in there. Oh yeah. This is the spicy. Oh yeah, little chili is floating around in there. Oh wow. Some onion, like a green onion, a nice and one. they brought me chili oil because I got the tomato broth. Thank you. Oh, yeah, eight to ten seconds. Oh, the veggies. Actually, now this was amazing 
And I'm wondering, what do you have for like tea? I have three different teas. I have a milk tea. Oh, I love milk tea. Usually with boba. But that's okay. Um, and then I have a hibiscus tea. And oh. then a black tea. Ooh. I want to try the milk tea. The milk tea, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, look at that. She's beautiful. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, yep. Nice. There's a big garlic clove. Look, look, that's a nice big garlic. Oh, yeah, look at the chilies floating around in there. Oh, wow. And some onion. Like a green onion, a nice healthy one. They brought me chili oil. I got and they broke it. If I want to I pop a couple and strip one, eight to ten seconds in the two. It cooks pretty fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Ten seconds. Oh beautiful. Oh look at the nice nice mushrooms and for a fruit taster, four minutes go in town for that. Okay, beautiful. Four minutes. Ten seconds, four minutes. A nice little orchid on there. <laughs> See? Or oh, is that hibiscus? Which one is that? The hibiscus is the flower. This is guadalupe. No, no, but I'm saying, yeah, the flower. That's the hibiscus flower. And this was uh, shrimp? That needs four minutes. So, oh, the shrimp, balls. shrimp balls right there. Are, those are nice. It is. It's, you're right. It is hibiscus on that. turned this on so that we would eat up. Oh, the shrimp balls look great. Uh, oh, we'll get good it's all amazing and then I ran out of room my drink I'm gonna have to I'll put this right you can move some stuff around okay we're letting this warm up a bit and we're gonna come back although I do wanna you gotta see I mean now that's some nice little sides there I love the mushrooms I see a shiitake it's very nice. So that's included and those are beautiful. We'll be right back. Four minutes. What? Ten seconds, four minutes. A nice yeah. little orchid on there. Or is that hibiscus? Which one is that? The hibiscus is the flower. This is guadalupe. No, no, but I'm saying, yeah, the flower. That's the hibiscus. Yeah. I want to get my little orchid. Yeah, that's beautiful. So there it is, the golden calf with pieces of A5 Wagyu and some gold leaf in there. And these things go very quickly. That's awesome. And here's another view of kind of where all of this is going. Nice. That's in uh, your pot's going. Look at my pot. My pot's cooking away. Very nice. Ah, tea. And actually, I think it's just for one. She's going to be, but that's quite okay. I brought two just in case. All right, so I just put a shrimp ball in there. That's going to be four minutes. And now, this is about 10 seconds. I like my And I'd say my ten se or my ten seconds are up for sure. Look, ready? There it is. The meat you kind of cook. I throw everything in here other than the meat, so it just kind of. And I'm gonna try a bit of this side here, also for seconds. And you said the little fish ball takes a little bit. Four minutes. Oh, look at that! Very quick. It is. I mean, it's totally. The meat you want to hold. Yeah. I'm gonna let. There's a little spot in it that didn't quite get it yet. Where I was holding it didn't quite. There's something there you can eat. Uh, well, I should ask. Oh look, it's starting to float, so it must be really close. Yeah, I put mine in there too. The veggies you put in there too, and the veggies kind of pull out whatever you want. The veggies definitely take longer, so thank you. You want to do it? Okay. I'm not going to ruin my wagyu here, but one, two, three, four, five, right. six. I am going to just try this. How many, how many About ten. You'll see the color change. Take it up, you'll see it. No, nope, let it keep going. 
That is buttery and um, a little spicy tang. There's my little shrimp ball. And it's, um, I don't want to go over. It's nice and white now. I'm pretty sure I got the four minutes. I'm gonna, you see my little shrimp ball in there? There you go. I'm gonna see how that goes. Let's try that. Oh yeah, you're bubbling away over there now. Let me try. That meat is really good. Oh, slightly shy on my time. I can see the color didn't quite get to the center, but just about. So I'm just giving it a few more seconds. Uh, shiitake, I'm gonna drop that in. I'm dropping all my veggies in. I'm dropping all my mushrooms in. They take a while. They need a little time. Oh, and this is bok choy. Yeah, that'll have to float around in there too. All right, guys, we're gonna work on this for a few minutes. Let me try this now. I like how they put the meat right over. That's amazing. All right, I'm gonna find something off that cow because yeah. he's coming to grill <laughs> the stuff for the cow. Oh, is he gonna grill it? Yeah, he's gonna grill some stuff. All right, so we'll wait for the cow. We'll leave that be. I got all my veggies in here cooking. The veggies make the broth better. My mushroom's gonna cook for a few. All right, well, I guess I'm going this way, right? This meat. I am gonna practice trying to hold a piece of meat in there. And success. This is awesome. That's what I just took. That is so marbled and so beautiful. I mean, it is buttery. Yep. Wonderful. Nice. All right, so you're gonna try your first fish ball. Is it fish ball or is it shrimp ball? A sh it's a shrimp ball. It was shrimp. Oops. Right. But, right? It's better than pumpkin. Ouch. And I'm gonna add the this, the pot. cooler, but I also added some chili powder and some chili oil. So I brought it up as well. Yeah. Oh, your veggies are cooking pretty nicely. They're starting to show some good cooking. I gotta go find that shrimp ball. It's hiding in there. I don't want it to overcook. Oh, guys, this is the experience. This is what it's about. We're gonna, when he comes back with the hot rock for the meats and the beef, we'll show you that. And I think for now, we're just going to sit here and work our way through an unbelievable lunch <laughs> at X-Spot. Wagyu fat to kind of grease up the stone. <laughs> uh, now, which one is that? Which this is the A5 Wagyu short rib? A short rib, yeah. This is the tongue. And the tongue. Oh, I haven't had that one till today. Oh. <laughs> and now it looks like you have a soy. Uh, is that a soy sauce with it? Soy and sauce and this is ponzu. Ponzu, which we love. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and just like everything, it's a quick little cook. Oh yeah. We keep this very, very hot. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, the marbling is just beautiful. Oh, no. oh, I think we're at our two minute for our dancing noodles. Are we very close? My noodles are, they stopped dancing, I think. <laughs> oh, that's gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to use my chopsticks to get those out. Very nice. Is that, is that a little truffle? It is black truffle. It is. Oh, no, no. Just on one. Just, uh, you can double it up. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. Green onions <laughs> okay? Absolutely. We both love those. <laughs> yeah, she had a a unfortunate experience with truffle <laughs> at a restaurant once. And ever since, you know. <laughs> but me? I'm good. Yeah. Especially if you overdo the oil. That's different. Oh, it, oh my god, it ruins everything. Ugh. It really... Yeah. And then they smothered a tremor cheese built truffles all over. Well, I think the thing was, it was like three separate ingredients had truffle. <laughs> so, it's a lot of truffle. Oh yeah. So, on my left hand side, it's the A5 Wagyu short rib, black truffle, green onion, and ponzu. And on the right-hand side, it's going to be beef Beautiful. So, 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 let's try that out. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. All right, so you tr try the tongue first. Try your tongue. Okay. Can you get it? Uh, I need some dipping sauce. Okay, okay you pick a dipping. I'm going to try it with the uh, ponzu. Mm. But, uh, okay, and I will try. I don't know if the pita sauce is the best for that. I think the ponzu. I think the ponzu. But that's a little overpowering. Ponzu is best. Excellent in the ponzu. Now this has a little rice. It's like a little sashimi chaser. And some truffle. I'm having tr a little trouble with my chopsticks at the moment. A little bit of the... Oh. Is it really hot? No, but it's beautiful. That had some great flavor. So, oh, wow. Let me try how this... Uh, this is shiitake. This little shiitake was in your tomato. It was in my tomato spicy. Oh yeah, and spicy. You've got it a good spice I level now. The, the oil. I don't know how I'm going to eat these noodles though. You keep them carefully so you don't slobber yourself. I'm loving the noodles though. That was just mm. like one string of noodles. And then I got a little bit of my. I love. Oh, that mushroom's great. And spicy. Mine's really spicy. And I'm going to try the shiitake here and compare. So this is my Napa cabbage. Which was, mine was delicious. Mm. <coughs> A little pepper got me. My nose is like running. <coughs> but oh boy. So Excellent. So is actually meant to be eaten raw like the cow. <coughs> I'd like to know which. I think all of them that have a little thing on top, you can eat raw. Yes, they, they are. That one, yeah. All right, well, we'll try them out. We'll it come back to that in a minute. As gold leaf, caviar. It is eaten raw. There you go. I can probably show you a nice little view of it. And I am... That's amazing. Anyways, back to my other piece of raw meat. The tatars. And this actually has this actually has a little bit of rice under it. Much it's almost like, like you would sashimi. do a like you would do a sashimi. Oh let's see the sashimi sashimi you usually just get like a raw piece of fish. Yeah. Where a sushi you get 
a little bit of rice, and it's this one. And I know it was quick, but that was quick. Let me show you the other one a little better. Give you a better view this time. Oh, uh, that nice. And uh, no I'm, it's hard to describe it. No you want to put a little ponzu in there? I think so. All right. Sweetening, very nice, creamy. I I don't remember ever eating rare raw beef. Um, and this that's, is to be that's quite the experience. Raw. They said these two are to be eaten raw, just like plain, like a piece of sushi. Oh. I'm supposed to eat this one raw? It's a wagyu. It's a wagyu meant to be eaten raw. What do you think? That looked like you could eat that raw? Yeah, here, how about that side? There you go. You have to dip it in sauce, obviously. And I will stick with that ponzu? little ponzu. Ponzu and soy, that's a mix. Okay, you sure now? Uh, she say. says I can. That's why he didn't cook it on the stone. Very nice. I actually like the one on top. With the gold? Not with the gold, the one with the little bit of rice with it. This one's good though. I mean, they're all super amazing cuts. There's still so much meat to cook in the hot pot. So. And there's more meat over here too, you know. Hun, you paid for it. Enjoy it. Oh, <laughs> well, there we go. There's another one. And if you're wondering, this is not a cheap lunch. But it's uh, a lifetime kind of lunch. This is anything but a cheap lunch, yes. But you've never had that level of Wagyu, right? The threes and, and Oh no, not at all. So this is heavily marbled, amazing, expensive, wow. wagyu beef, and the hot pot experience in and of itself. You can't even get the A5 in many places, very few places, yeah. so, but, Well, there's uh, A5 and A3, we had to order the A5 extra on here. Extra, yep. Yeah. It was a separate edition, but it was, oh, so, with cow, with cow, please, please. so worth it. And I am going to one eat my last piece. Yeah, there's still two pieces left. I'm going to eat those. Okay and get back to my pot because I still have a lot. Yeah, we're gonna finish up and we'll come back and show you what we got for dessert. Fish, all right, so hold on. So there's the little robot coming around and he serves and he cleans and he lights up. <laughs> and look, I guess, so he's, cool. I guess he's uh, emptying over here. They're yeah. returning stuff. So there you go. So, chocolate mousse, let me see if I can come even a little closer, with a mango puree. Very nice, so you can see it back here. Wow, it looks like little paw prints of an animal, maybe a koala. I know, I'll get a, I'm gonna get a close-up picture of it. Oh, before I... Alright, so... I like the pretzels. I'm gonna start with the little paw. But I'm gonna get the stuff underneath yeah. it and have it with it. Oh, it looks like they have the Oreo cookie crumble, right? Yeah, I don't know see that, guys. I'll try to... Man. Oh. Oh, man. It's oh, my. Fine. Oh, this is a cloud. And a cloud of flavor. Well, the very bottom, I thought he said it was mango. Mango puree on the bottom. I don't care what he said it is. This is heaven. Heaven in a, a spoon. Oh, wow. This is a... Um, really good. Beautiful dessert. And oh, my God. A little salt on the pretzel. And a spoonful. Oh. Lime, salt mango, Half mousse, salt chocolate mousse, chocolate crumbles. It's like the best of every dessert. And I put this little... It's like they took three, uh, three or four... Dessert idea. It says, oh, no, I got it. Right. And so now you have that salt added to the sweet and a little crunch. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Thank God I had room for this. Oh, and I'm not leaving any behind. Even Nydia's finding room. And there, that's mango on the bottom. So good. All right, guys. I don't want to drool on camera, so we're gonna cut the cut it here. We'll do a closing outside. This is X Spot. If you ever get the chance. I must do. And and we took the price fix way through it. We went the cheaper way, essentially. But and got every oh course. my goodness! And I, and we just saw some beautiful other deep meals that people are getting. And this is an experience. It's not about the money. Because if it was, we wouldn't be here. It's about the experience. And let me tell you, I've waited for this, I think, about a year. And it was worth it. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Huh? All right, everybody, that's X Pot. Uh, absolutely amazing, end to end. It is an experience. It is. I love it's it. It's really enjoyable. Uh, I really hope we get to do it again. It is not for the faint-hearted of wallet, let's say. No. And um, but you know what? They can't take the memory. You only live once. You live once. You enjoy once. You share. You get to have great company and great memories. Those we'll have forever, and especially when we're watching this video with you guys we're gonna look back and be like oh my god that's and it's, awesome. that's happened a lot of times already yeah. I've looked back at videos that even from just a year ago so I can't imagine when we look back 10 years down the road it'll be like wow do you remember that I'll be like no <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm gonna hope I do so this one I think we will so thanks for joining thank you Dwayne and Nadia food travel fun uh, our next video is coming up soon so this was X-Pot, and we continue our Vegas trip. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.